well, well, well. I am absolutely gobsmacked. An outbreak of common sense. Who'd have thunk it? I'm Granny Opterix. All right, so common sense is a word very often misused. I'll say more rea realism than common sense. It says here the NHS is to review all transgender treatment. And then it says something that I think you and I have known for quite a while, but for some reason all those bright sparks in organs, and I'm using that word deliberately, um, organs like the BBC and, and the Guardian uh, don't seem to have twigged to that, or at least not until recently. Um, evidence for letting children change gender is built on shaky foundations, says the Cass report. Could blow me down with a feather. Uh, shaky uh, foundations, that is, doctors who have uh, put children on a pathway to medicalization, medical interference, painful operations, a constant medical supervision thereafter, and sterility. Uh, there's not enough evidence to show that that's actually happening. You know, doctors have always been subject to these um, fashions and fads. They are no different from other human beings. There was a time when I liked platform shoes, which were probably dangerous, but there you are. They were fashionable and I thought they were cool until they were not. And there was a fashion among doctors for bleeding or electric shock therapy or, or lobotomies. They do these things and they cause incalculable harm. And then they drop that and they go on to something else. Uh, you know, and unfortunately, because they're doctors and because a lot of the time they do a lot of good and keep people like me on my feet, uh, most of the time, we have a, um, a an idea that they have some sort of godlike wisdom to which we have no access, being ordinary wormish human beings. So uh, th there is this problem. And the worst of it is the politicians, because politicians amongst mo <laughs> more than most social groups are subject to a sort of God worship. You know, they set up ideas, ideals, ideologies, that sort of thing. They appear to be those sorts of people going into politics. There are very few down to earth, practical politicians that I can think of right now. There's David Davis and there's Lee Anderson. Uh, and there's, uh, what's his name, Nigel Farage. I, I, I mean, there might be one or two more, but I can't think of any right now. Going to cough, just a minute. Yes, yeah, so it seems that politicians are more subject to this sort of hero worship. So they get carried along by what doctors say. And you can see this, you could see this, it, it, what happened during the COVID. Um, hang on. What happened during the... Uh, Sickness which shall not be named for reasons of me getting demonetized by YouTube. All right. I make no excuse for that. I shall be very careful. You know what I'm talking about, but I don't want to get my videos demonetized uh, uh, because, well, actually, I don't know why, because I, frankly, <laughs> it's not as lucrative as you might think. Anyway, it's, uh, let's get on to this. The NHS will review all trans treatment as a landmark report says that the evidence for allowing children and young people to change gender is built on shaky foundations. Well, and as this is coming through and people are becoming more... Uh, sceptical of what the doctors say. So we are getting people like um, this guy here. I, I like this guy. He's really useful because anytime I want to laugh, I look at him and I, well, I can even feel superior because he's so 
he's so... How do I put this? There was a stock character in British comedies and tragedies alike of the neighbour whose lips, it was always a woman, whose lips are in a constant state of being pursed. And she would sit there uh, judging people, usually with her hands on top of her handbag. So imagine there's a big handbag here. And usually hair scraped back in a bun and a hat, you know, very, very precise. Oh, I'll tell you who else did this. Lily, Lily Tomlin in The Laughing. She did a society lady, but a similar sort of person. It's obviously a, 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 an Anglo thing. Well, this guy here, Matthew Stadlin, uh, is very similar to that in more ways than one. Uh, I'll, I'll play what he says. He's rather fun. But before I carry on, I have to say that in a previous video, I thought that that L there was an I. And I said his name was Stadion or Stadion. And it isn't. It's Stadlin. Which, uh, being corrected on that, I realised I needed new glasses. And that's why I'm wearing these. They're not new glasses. I, I mean, I don't need prescription lenses. So... Uh, so um, I don't rely on them so much because, you see, I can still read this even wearing these sunglasses. Uh, but obviously I do need some help. And um, uh, and the uh, the optician put drops in my eyes. And I, I, I frankly, I look like I've had a stroke. <laughs> so that's why I'm wearing the sunglasses, just so you know. Right now. Uh, this here, Jack David, whoever he is, amazing how all the cheerleaders for all things trans who've spent years calling everyone hateful bigots now want an end to the toxicity. And he calls this now Stadlin. He uses the word toxicity. I have no idea what he means. But here, let's listen to him. We know that toxicity is a massive player in this. And that was punched out in the cast reports to the extent that toxicity has impacted the availability and quality of evidence. Just a minute. This is what I call Humpty Dumpty language. You know that bit where Humpty Dumpty says, uh, I, you know, who is to be the master, me or the words? I'll, I'll make words mean whatever I want them to mean because I'm the boss of the words. Well, this is what people like Math Matthew Stadlin uh, does with language. He's using toxicity here. I have no idea what he's talking about. Is the toxicity coming from people who criticise trans people or from the nuttier end of the trans people who fly off the handle if they're called sir when they're in a shop and they're there with, with a beard? Uh, OK, let's carry on with Mr Stadlin for the care of children. So when we're talking about children, children have to be absolutely front and center and they should not be the victims. Oh, right, yeah. Children should be the front and center. They should not be the victims. And he was the one pushing for them to be the victims. But now, no, that's, that's, all, that's all behind. That's all behind him now. Now he can, he, he's sort of sliding away. You never know. In a couple of weeks, he might be banging the table and uh, and saying things about trans people that I don't dare say on YouTube. Right. Let's carry on. The culture wars on either side. And there's horrible, horrible stuff coming from both sides. As far as. Oh, now it's both sides. It's not just the turfs now. So it's now let, let's even it out. Uh, the turfs are saying bad things and the uh, and, and the trans people are saying bad things. I haven't heard TERF say anything about trans people uh, that uh, requires the, the ending of their lives or their cancelling as human beings or anything like that. No, all they've said was stay out of our changing rooms, if you don't mind. And so the awful stuff that's coming out, he, he's evening that out now. All right, let's carry on. Isn't he wonderful? He's he's God's gift to a YouTuber. Is a trans woman a trans woman? Yes, a trans woman is is a woman or she's a, a trans woman. 
she's she she was born biologically male. She's still biologically male, but she's uh, right, 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 right. He's admitted still biologically male, and that was no, no. There was a magic wand, you know. The trans fairy came and and suddenly uh, changed from these Cinderella rags of masculinity into the princess gown and complete change uh, of. Uh, of, of femininity. Uh, no, uh, no, no. At least he's saying now oh, they, they really are biologically male. She sees herself and is legally defined as a woman. Mm -hmm. And certainly I would not call a trans woman a man because I think it's offensive. Do I think that should be illegal? Probably not. Right. Now, I, if you look at a previous video, the one where I called him Stadion instead of Stadlin, he did say it should be illegal. In fact, he was shouting at Helen Joyce that this is illegal. And she said, no, it isn't. Now he's, he's talking as if he never had any other thought in his mind. Should people be able to describe biology, bio biological reality as it is? Yes, they should. But can we take the toxicity out of it? Can we take the personal abuse out of it? Because personal abuse only in one direction only in one direction but he's pretending there are two directions i mean after all a hypocrite has to hang on to some shreds of um, of his own self-delusion children particularly but also adults and their well-being have to be front and center and let's just talk about children because children when anyone wants to uh, damp down an argument all you do is you say well i'm for the children yeah and 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 then everything you remember greta thunberg when she was talking that nonsense and everybody uh, who criticized her got the same thing how can you criticize a child in that way Children, that word, damps down everything. Well, that's Matthew Stadlin. Um, and, and then there's, uh, there's, there was this article in the, uh, the Telegraph uh, who wrote this, Judith Woods. Uh, well done, J.K. Rowling. Emma Watson and Daniel Radcliffe don't deserve your forgiveness. Somebody asked her, could you forgive them? And she said, no, I think. Well, I can't forgive them. And I don't see uh, why anyone else should. They were jumping on a bandwagon. I'd be interested to see how many knots they can um, twist themselves into to try and pretend that they didn't really mean it all along. We'll see. Time will tell. It provides some hope for the future, at least hope for some fun in the future. I'll keep an eye on their pronouncements. They, they might be interesting. OK, till next time. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opteryx design or Grembo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.